Hey guys, it's Brian Cinnamon, and in this video, uh, right after this video, I'm going to be showing you a tool that I purchased in January that I have been completely dissatisfied with, and it doesn't work, and I'm going to show you that it doesn't work, and I'm very dissatisfied, and I want to at least try to raise awareness to the e-commerce community about this tool to save you guys from spending thousands of dollars for no reason. Um, I unfortunately took too long to try to get a refund through PayPal and uh, their hands are tied they can't refund me my money and obviously the seller isn't going to refund my money so uh, the purpose of this video is merely to raise awareness and uh, to exercise my freedom of speech rights to raise awareness on public forums such as Facebook Twitter Bing Google Yahoo and any other places that I can find so uh, the purpose of this video though is to just uh, show you guys that I am an authority uh, in the Amazon e-commerce space. I'm not saying that I'm the best seller on Amazon, but I have been widely successful. Uh, the reports would only go back two years to today, so uh, you're looking at the last two years exactly of my sales on Amazon, which is $5.3 million in sales, not profit. Um, but that's still pretty significant considering my profit margins average between 20 and 25%. Okay, so I've done okay, and uh, 102,000 orders, ordered items, okay? So I didn't just start doing this yesterday, and I know what I'm talking about when it comes to finding profitable products, and you'll see in the following video where I go through the tool, and I show you, and we walk through the decision-making process and how every single item that this tool brings up is not a valid sellable item. Okay, so uh, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and a drink. My next video is about 33 minutes long, and it will save you about $3,000 unless these guys raise the price. Okay, so it would be highly worth it for you to pay attention. All right, thanks for your time, and uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Bye. Uh, the reason I'm talking about Arbitrage Suite is because it doesn't work. Uh, the creator and the seller of this product sold this to me in January of 2018 for $3,000 and it has had bugs and has been broken the entire time. Uh, they insist that it does work, there's 150 satisfied customers, blah 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 blah, and that everybody's making money. Uh, so what I want to do real quick, um, I just want to, I'm not going to show you how the whole tool works because it's a waste of time. But they have an explore function here where you can just click on the vendor you want. Um, so Walmart, right? Everybody uses Walmart as a drop shipper on Amazon. So I just want to show you uh, some things here. So um, let's see. A really good popular um, thing is Patio Garden, right? And then it's supposed to automatically pull a whole bunch of great profitable products. And it gives you the available positions. This is the seller position on Amazon. So obviously in this one, it's saying that I could get position two all the way through 10, but not the top position and be profitable based on uh, what I, the profit that I set for it or whatever. That's uh, saying that profits between $2 and $27 and ROI between 4% and 50%. Now, what's frustrating here is you can actually uh, open these products. And so you have the uh, 10 by 10 uh, replacement canopy top gazebo shade for 38 bucks. And it's uh, brown burgundy. You go over here, and oh look, it returned a warm worth plant cover. Not even the same product. Okay, let's do it again. So how about this one, the self-watering planter? We go over here. Oh look, it does have a self-watering planter. 13 by 9 inch self-watering planter. It's out of stock. And Ace Inspector, if you guys are unfamiliar with this, it tells you uh, how often a product sells on Amazon. Uh, it's a great tool. I've been using it for years. Uh, it has no data, and this item is currently avail unavailable on Amazon. Now, a lot of people would argue that this is a great listing because you can get it. If it wasn't out of stock at Walmart, you can get it and be the only seller on Amazon, which, yes, that's true. However, uh, we have no idea. Well, here's Keepa. Okay, so it used to sell, on average, about $17, $91, $18, jumped to $21. Then it was out of stock. Uh, and then it was in stock for 25 and then it was out of stock and then it was in stock for 25 so there's obviously somebody coming in selling it for $25 um, 
and probably sourcing it from Walmart. So yeah, there, there's an opportunity there, uh, but it's been out of stock here for, I don't know, four or five days. Um, maybe this would be a good one, but there's, there's no rank, no reviews, no nothing on this product. For me personally, with my drop shipping business and the way that I run it, I would never list this product. There's just no data to know if it's going to sell, right? And if you're in the FBA game, you definitely wouldn't want to buy a hundred of these because you can't even make a solid decision on whether or not it's going to sell a hundred in a week, a month, two months, six months, two years. You don't know. Okay, so let's go to another one before they take away my access. <laughs> okay, basics shed kit. Okay, so this one, okay, sells 44 times a month, $54. $54, there's no profit. There's no profit. It costs $54 at Walmart, and it costs $54 on Amazon. Not a profitable product. However, this tool says, okay, here you go, no available positions to make money. All right, all right, fair enough. Live video, okay, here's another, okay, here's one with all the ranks. It says you can get uh, rank 2, 3, 4 through 10. The Banyan Nickel thingy. Okay. Academic coordinator, again, no reviews. Estimated sales, not available. If you scroll down, no rank. Where is it? No rank. Okay. And then Keepa has had it at 1995 forever. Okay, 1995. Plus 449 shipping, apparently, to me. Okay, because I'm in Arizona. And over here, oh, here you go. It's not even the same product. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's a 52 inch ceiling fan at Walmart. And over here, it's a coffee cup. Okay, moving on. Just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, Caribbean Joe Beach Umbrella. All right, let's check that out. Here's the beach umbrella. No reviews, no estimated sales per month. Again, it's a brand new listing to Amazon, no data. You can't make a good decision. You don't know how fast it's going to sell. And for some people, if you're using tools that uh, cost you money per item to track the price or anything like that, apparently Arbitrage Suite will do that. It'll track your item, track your source price, and make your repricing adjustments for you. Uh, so that's possible. Okay, so it's $24.99 at Walmart, and over here it's $29.99 at Amazon. So check this out I've got a tool here your FBA again if you're doing FBA $29.99 it costs you $24.99 shipped to Amazon fee even if it was 50 cents you're losing 32 percent net margin minus negative nine dollars and 79 cents okay um, let's say you were going to drop ship this product okay we all know as Amazon sellers that uh, Amazon takes 15 percent for FBM okay so $29.99 times 0.85 to take out 15% leaves you $25.49 minus $25. You make 49 cents on an item that has no estimated sales per month. So you can make 50 cents. Uh, I don't know about you guys. I personally would be kind of upset if I had to spend $25 to make 50 cents. Okay, what's the mark? What's the percentage of profit on that? Uh, 50 cents divided by $25. 0.02% uh, profit. I'm pretty sure nobody is jumping out of their screens to have a 0.02% profit on a product. All right, moving on. Let's scroll down big time. Let's see here. Okay, this says that we can have the number one position. Um, let me open that up and open this up. Okay, so Walmart says it's a Better Homes and Garden Rectangular Patio Umbrella, $44.99. Available from these sellers. Again, it's a new listing, no reviews no estimated profit uh rank no bestseller rank keepa has it in uh 66 dollars and it kind of dropped down all the way to 57.63 and the current buying options at the lowest price is 57.63 at 44.99 you cannot be profitable so 57.63 again 57.63 times 0.85 48.98 Okay, you can make $3. But again, we have no idea when or if this is going to sell. There's no rank. It's a new item. It's a new item. It's a new listing. Maybe it'll be good and you can make 3 bucks a sale. So you can spend $45 to make 3 bucks a sale. Okay? 
A lot of people will argue that that's good. I get it. Trust me, I get it. I used to be in the game where I would I would max out a half a million dollar credit card in order to make five thousand bucks in profit. Okay, I played that game. Okay, let's see here. Zero gravity chair. Here we go. Best choice product set of two adjustable zero gravity lounge chairs. Okay. Out of stock. 7346 out of stock. 7394. Can't make profit. Can't do it. It sells a ton, but at the price you'd have to list it at, what it said, rank six, right? Rank six is the best you can list it at. Now, anybody who is an experienced Amazon seller, you know. So, in order to be profitable, you'd have to be down here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You have to be at 99.99 to make a profit. And all of these other sellers will get sales way before you at 99.99. Okay? So, there is no way that that would sell. Okay, moving on. Let's do another page. Oh, that's the end of the page. Okay, let's try this one. All right. Uh, six customer reviews. Holy crap, this one actually has reviews. Eight sales a month. It's a 10-piece polyurethane coated garden stakes. Okay, garden stakes. That's not the same product. Look, these are kind of fat. Maybe it's just a really zoomed in picture. We can assume that. Okay, three foot long. Uh, ten pack, three foot long. Let's just say it was really zoomed in. Super zoomed in. Okay, cost you $11.80. Seventeen seventy eight is what you can hope to sell it for. Seventeen eighteen times point eight five. Fourteen dollars and sixty cents minus eleven eighty. Okay. Two dollars and eight cents. That ain't bad. Okay. I'll give credit where credit is due. That one wasn't bad. You spend eleven dollars and you make two dollars and eight cents. Uh, in profit if you can sell it and this product sells what did I say eight times a month eight times a month okay so a product that sells eight times a month and how many other sellers let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine other sellers okay so uh, if you were to do some simple math here nine sellers eight sales a month um, if all the I mean obviously they're not all priced the same but um, yeah not it's not good it's not good and then here's the frustrating part like he's like oh yeah yeah this will do all the work for you do all the work for you um, this one's reporting you have to be in the eighth position so I want to make sure you guys understand the eighth position in order to get sales this thing sells four times a month so at four times a month if I have to be at the eighth position in order to make profit one two three four five six seven eight I have to sell it for 1821 plus four five dollars shipping in order to make a profit on this I'm never gonna like I would never sell that product ever and it only sells four times a month so four I mean look look how many you gotta be way down here you can't build a sustainable business on that Weber grill cover let's check this out 1299 okay probably sells a ton 197 a month okay it's it's uh you gotta pay attention to the, the part number two seven one seven five eighteen inch okay is that the same one does that look this is domed on top this is flat on top does this have a part number on it seven one seven five okay it does all right eighteen inch yep eighteen inch all right so it's the same pictures just don't match at all twelve ninety nine cost twelve ninety nine you you can't make money. You list it for twelve ninety nine, and then your cost is twelve ninety nine. You're going backwards. Look at that. Look, check this out. FBA twelve ninety nine product cost twelve ninety nine. You're losing five bucks every time you sell it. This guy says I don't know what I'm talking about. He says I don't know anything. He called me an idiot. All right. Tiki brand citronella stand. Okay. All right. Let's check this out. Tiki brand, 64 ounces. Uh, was it a one pack? Looks like a one pack. 64 ounces, one pack. 14.78. Okay. 
Sells unknown, but it's a bestseller. That's kind of weird. But look, fourteen seventy eight. Great, you can sell it for a loss. Good job. You can actually sell this product for a loss. Welcome to drop shipping. You know, I mean, this this is what pisses me off the most about these types of people that want to make these crazy tools that do all kinds of stuff, and then they just spit out data that doesn't make you any money. And I've been I've been waiting for six months for this guy to uh, fix the tool and make it work right. So the rank's really good on this. Look, 395, but you'll sell it for a loss every time. You know, I, I, I've been waiting for this guy to do the right thing and uh, and spit something out. So let's see, splendid iron wind chime. Look at this. Okay, no rank, no reviews, $106 plus $7, no estimated sales. Keepa doesn't even have a record of it. Okay, somebody just made this listing. Somebody just now just made this listing. Splendid Iron Wind Chime. At least it's the same product. Fifty-two seventy-eight. They're trying to double their money. So pickup not available. Shipped by unbeatable sale. It's not even shipped by Walmart. It's shipped by these guys. And you can also find it for forty bucks at unbeatable sale here. So unbeatable sale is even ripped. Oh, let's see. There's the shipping too. So is that fifty-one, fifty-two dollars? Okay, there you go. So. Walmart's just drop shipping from uh, unbeatable sale, but at least it's the same product. But over here, brand new listing, no rank, not even on Keepa, no record of sales at all of this product, and you're supposed to, to jump in on this and try to make money. No thanks. Like I want to make money on stuff that can actually make me money. Like I want to get sales. Like look, look, you have to be, <laughs> you have to be position nine. Like why? Ugh. So frustrating. So far, let's see. Spectricide weed and grass killer two, ready to use. HG nine six four two eight. Out of stock. Pack of one. What was buying options. Six ninety eight. Okay. So you, you're doubling your money. If it was in stock, but it's not. And uh, the rank's not bad. Okay. So what was frustrating to me, you know, a lot of these, look at this. There's not, nothing here. Like it's, it's like, okay, well, we just spit this info out, but you can't use it. Extended deck box seat, $129. $129. Can't do anything with that. Ship sold by Zorro. Have you guys ever bought from Zorro before? Horrible. Horrible shipping. They're late all the time and they drop ship. So they're, they're, get this, you're drop shipping from Walmart who is drop shipping from Zorro who is drop shipping from someone else. How long do you think it takes to get all those orders through? I mean, you're looking at a 10 day handling time if you're lucky. But I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have a clue. 47 sales a month. So if you could find the supplier that Zorro is buying from, you could actually do pretty good with this product. Let's see. I think I've made one point. Let's do another supplier. Let's do Farm and Fleet. Toys and Games. Uh, outdoor Play. No results. Huh. He promised me six months ago that these other suppliers would work. Let's try Academy. Oh. Nope. Nothing with Academy. Uh, all Modern? Holy cow, there is some All Modern results. Let's do Betting. Oh, okay. Bedding essentials, head pillows. Nope. Okay. Uh, quilts. No. Nope. Sheets. No. Nope. Hmm. Blankets. No. Hmm. So I paid three thousand dollars for this tool, and it's not delivering anything. Anything. Okay. Let's try. Uh, how about Bass Pro? That's a big one. Camping. Outdoor furniture. No. Nope. Hmm. No. Nope. Okay. Okay, so I think I can assume here that none of these, uh, well, team member services, what the hell am I going to drop ship from team member services or target subscriptions? You see what I mean? Like they set these up and they're not done. Like six months ago, I bought this. Six months ago. Oh, look, beauty. There's some stuff in beauty. But there's no product name. How am I supposed to compare this to target? <laughs> there's not even a link to click on. See how broken this tool is? All right, so this is claiming I can have position one and 50% profit. Let's look at this. Botanics shine away thing. 
2490 sells one every five months guys okay uh, 3.5 ounce clay mask uh, that's the iconic clay mask that same thing same thing okay 1120 it's on sale okay you know what's cool about target sales is they don't stay on sale forever so you'd have to do this product FBA okay just so let's follow the, the lead here you got to do it FBA and it's gonna cost you 1120 okay so let's do this uh, 249 is what you're gonna sell it for what did I say 1120 and ship to Amazon is 0.5 uh, okay net profitability seven dollars so if you want to do this FBA and buy a bunch uh, the problem is you're only going to sell one every five months and there are three sellers there you go at least two of them are the same price so you'd rotate the buy box between three so uh, one every five months it would take you if if all the sales were split evenly it would take you 15 months to sell one 15 months to make seven dollars FBA and uh, actually you know what I'll take that back if you were to do this FBA, these guys are not FBA. If you were to do this FBA and made it twenty-four ninety, you would get the the next sale. So it would take you uh, five months, five months to make a seven dollar profit on that product. Okay, scrolling. Oh, this one says you can have position one for twenty-six to fifty percent profit. Okay, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Here we go. Amazon twelve ninety-nine for a Conair dressing combs two-pack multicolor. 299 same thing okay cool very cool two-day shipping using the red card okay nice nice um, just in case you guys weren't aware uh, you can't drop ship from Target uh, they will figure it out and they will ban you what I've been told with arbitrage suite this was another part of the tool that got me really excited but I don't believe that it works because nothing else works is they said that uh, they have some kind of an IP rotator um, and the software here is supposed to make your orders for you as well. And the IP rotator will rotate you and your order through the rotator so Target doesn't catch on to you drop shipping from their site, which is honestly really cool. Like if that works, uh, awesome. Uh, the problem is I can't find any valid listings to take a chance on to put into my Amazon account to make money on. Again here, this is a brand new listing no sales per month Keepa has got it all the way down to 12.99 at one point it was 16.58 now it's 12.99 and, and no no uh, bestseller re reviews there's no rank no bestseller rank so, i mean you make a listing you take a chance you know you're, you're listing a bunch of stuff that you have no idea if it will ever sell now i don't personally want to put up and you know and pay a va because i'm not going to go through this list you know what i mean I don't want to pay a VA or two or five to go through all of these and list everything in hopes that someday it sells on an item that has never sold before on a brand new listing with no rank that Amazon puts no preference on. You know what I mean? But I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm surprised they haven't taken my access away from this tool yet. All right. Honest Beauty, the younger eye. Let's see. What is this? Honest Beauty eye cream. 2660 sells 300 times a month. Nice. Product not available. Darn. But wait. Arbitrage Suite says you can be position two and have seven to fifty percent. How do you estimate that you can be between seven and fifty percent? I mean, look how big of a spread that is. So if we go over here, uh, there's four other sellers. Why? Why is the spread so big? Oh, there it is. Twenty-eight dollars prime. All the way to forty-four ninety-nine, drop shipped for a product that is not available. It's crazy. It's crazy. And you guys can see I'm like randomly going through these lists, right? Like I have no, uh, I, there's no way at this point that I could have pre-searched these products. Oh, here we go, Redwood thing. Okay. Again, brand new listing, no sales no estimated sales at least uh the price has been pretty consistent and amazon's on it for 476.42 uh no rank okay no rank no reviews no clue when or if this will ever sell and it's an american shifter kit for 400 dollars. well i guess if you needed a uh, bucket of paint 
You'd be all right. Man. But wait. It says I can be position one, guys. Position one. It says I can be position one on an American shifter kit. But I'm sourcing a can of paint from Home Depot with the, with the link provided by Arbitrage Suite. You see what I'm saying here? You see what I'm saying? Let's try this one. The Redwood Transparent. I know it's, it's another bucket of paint. Oh, look. Uh, South African War Memorial. No estimated sales. Keepa has it at $9.99 since forever. And there is no reviews and no rank. But hey, if you need a gallon of paint, they got you covered. Waterproofing wood finish. There you go. Okay, so that was uh, what Home Depot. I clicked on Home Depot. Let's go to uh, Patio. Accent. Nope, nothing under accent furniture. Dining sets? Nope. Seating? Nope. Hmm. Garage storage. I've drop shipped that before. No results. No results. No results. No results. No results. Man. Okay. How about Costco? Costco's got good stuff. I have a membership at Costco. Let's see here. Uh, sports and fitness? Bikes? Nope. Fishing? Nope. Nope. Saunas? Nope. Mm -mm. Got a big old, big old zero. Can't find anything. Oh man, Costco's got nothing. You're saying that Costco has no drop shipping products? Hmm. No. In actuality, uh, Costco is not a linked vendor. So they're basically. I know they're working on the tool. I get that. You know, people trying to build something out of nothing and have a service that's really cool. I understand. As an entrepreneur, I'm proud of people that want to do that. But when you're going to take people's money for a tool that's not 100% complete and 100% working, and it doesn't deliver what was promised, oh, look, Wayfair. You know, it doesn't deliver what's promised. You, you can't take people's money for that. I asked them for a refund. They told me to kick rocks. Or no, his words were pound sand. So he must have been an army guy. Uh, okay, so fruit scoop ice cream. Let's see. This is Wayfair, guys. Okay, so uh, Cuisine Art, fruit scoop, frozen dessert maker. No reviews. Sells one every nine months. Hey, go drop shipping. One every nine months. At least the product is right. But here, guess what? You can't drop ship from Wayfair. They will block you. Again, Arbitrage Suite uh, boasts that they have a uh, IP rotator and they can get you around the the security protocols that Wayfair has maybe they do uh, but Wayfair is at 75.90 and uh, 121.95 this would be profitable if you paid 75.90 for it Let's see 75 no, I'll even tell you here's your profit 25 bucks 20 percent profit have fun with uh, 25 dollars one time out of nine months and you have somebody to compete with two people. So there you go. But who knows, maybe it'll sell. You make that 25 bucks. Let's go do another one. Let's see. Uh, oh, can't click that one. Oh look, position one, no click. Position one, no click. Position two, no click. No positions. Position six, two. So I can't be the number one position on, oh look, no click, no click. That's turning into a pretty, oh, here we go. Box spirits decanter. Let's see what this is. All right, a box spirits bottle with glass stopper. One sale a month at forty-five seventy-nine. Keepa has had it that price for a while, except for a little tiny bit. The bestseller rank four hundred and sixty-four thousand in kitchen and dining, which is horrible. Uh, but it has two customer reviews, so somebody's bought it. Huh? Is this right? Well, it kind of looks like the right product. Yeah, that is. Okay, good product. Same thing. Uh, $24.99. So somebody's got it listed for double, and they happen to get a sale. Okay, all right. Well, there's that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there, there was only a small list here. Uh, Betty Crocker thing. Okay, let's check that out. $17.99. 
sell 78 times a month, three in one baking rack. Not bad. $30.99. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Three tier baking rack for $30.99 at Wayfair. And it's $17.99 on Amazon. So if I do $30.99. Oh, congratulations, guys. You will profit a negative $24.71. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Same thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. You guys get, are you guys getting the gifs here? I mean, I have clicked, I, we've researched what? 20 products? It's gotta be 20 products by now. Let's try a different category here. Kitchen and dining. Okay. Uh, well, I only know what the product is on these two, so let's check it out. Pressure canner. Those probably sell a lot. Yeah, 493 times at $71.99. $71.99 Wayfair. Can't make any money there. Zero profit. Mason jar utensil holder. Okay, those are cool. Look at that. That's nice. My wife would actually like that. One every two months. Uh, about 27 bucks. Uh, price has been all over the place. Amazon ran out. Now it's at 19.99. Bestseller rank 1.2 million. I wouldn't let my VAs list this. And uh, oh look, they're out of stock for 35.99. Look at that. Wayfair is at 35.99. If you were to sell this for 35.99 you would lose $32. Hmm. It's crazy. That, this, is, this figures in all your fees and stuff too for FBA. So, okay. So there you go. Uh, yeah. So this is Arbitrage Suite. Um, all I asked for was a refund. I gave them $3,000 in January. And I'm sure it was so they can continue to pay the developer uh, to develop this tool, which uh, doesn't seem like they've been doing a great job at it. It's been six months. Um, I tried to do a dispute on PayPal, but I waited five days too long, and PayPal only protects your money for 180 days. So shame on me for not keeping track of my calendar and, uh, and not doing a chargeback or a dispute in a timely manner. So my only recourse now is to kindly ask them for a refund, which I did this morning. And they told me to pound sand. And then I emailed his business partner, hoping that he has better business sense. And I haven't heard back. So we'll see how that goes. But I made this video before they decided to take my access away. And uh, probably will be posting this all over social media and driving advertising to it. So at least I can help other people not waste $3,000 on a garbage software that will cost you money in every sale just about and not find you any profitable products and will cause you major, major confusion, disappointment, and frustration. Because the only vendor that seems to work is Walmart. And even with Walmart, every single listing you seem to look up is a brand new listing to Amazon. Oh, this one's not, but what is it? A gift card. Who would sell a $50 gift card for more than 50 bucks? Or who would buy one? That's just crazy. So that probably, does that even sell? 13 times a month. <laughs> there you go. There's 13 people a month that are stupid enough to buy a T-Mobile refill card for more than 50 bucks. <laughs> go to Safeway for that. Anyway, every single thing you pull up. It's a brand new listing, no reviews, no sales. Data is unavailable. Keepa, no data. No reviews, no bestseller rank. Every single item. Every single item, you guys. And yeah, I mean, there may be a chance that some of these will just happen to sell or you got to drive traffic and pay money, pay advertising money to Amazon to get your listings to the top of the search. Things like that. But I mean, every single listing. Oh, look, here you go. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming Walkie Talkie 744. Let's, maybe I found a good one. Let's see. $24.90 at the supplier. 
$20.99 at Amazon. Nope, you're backwards. Did I say $24.90? Yeah, negative 10 bucks. I mean, you can't sell something for $20.99 and go buy it for $24.99 and make money. You can't do it. So, hope I brought some light to all of this. Um, I hope we get a good resolution. Um, I'd like to be refunded. It's not the money, it's more the principal. And, uh, yeah, this tool sucks. <laughs> so, thought I'd share it with you guys. Thanks for your time. And I uh, hope... I really hope that if you made it to the end of this video that I have saved you $3,000 or whatever they're charging for it at this point. So take care. Bye. Hey guys, it's Brian again. And uh, in this video, I'm just going to go into uh, one more section about Arbitrage Suite. Uh, this was originally what was presented to me. I figured I'd show you guys this too so we can cover 100% of the basis of my claim with this tool being a waste of money. Okay, so before I showed you the explore option, that clearly didn't work. And in this uh, section, I'm just going to show you how this is supposed to work. So the idea is that you go to a supplier, for example, uh, Home Depot, right? And you grab whatever uh, departments, let's see. Just do uh, lawn and garden, and uh, where's the tools? Uh, lawn and garden is probably not here. I'll just do this shovel. All right. So the idea is you grab a shovel, and you grab the link to the shovel, which I thought this was kind of slick when you first showed it to me, and you hit next. And then you select, make sure this is the right shovel, right? The Ames uh, fiberglass 46 and a half inch shovel, right? Ames 46 and a half fiberglass shovel. Okay. Uh, price is $21.88, $5.99 shipping, which is $17.97. Okay, so uh, it's priced wrong. It pulled the wrong data. But anyway, uh, so you select that. And then it's supposed to fetch the Amazon product information. So here's the Amazon shovel listing, which looks identical to the picture here. Uh, digging shovel, 46 and a half inches with tempered steel blade. There's the ASIN for it. Brings the SKUs over. So you're supposed to be able to like compare, right? Tells you the bestseller rank right here, 500,000 in lawn and garden, which is horrible. Honestly, it's horrible. And then uh, your secondary category is 636 in shovels, but the secondary one doesn't even matter. Uh, this is the one that identifies how often an item sells. Okay, and you can even click on this and it'll take you to the Amazon listing, which here's where you can do your real research. Uh, sells 22 times a month if you have the Ace Inspector tool. If you look at Keepa, uh, somebody had it used for $2,000, which is just funny. And then uh, 31, 32, $32, right? 34 bucks. And then uh, you can verify your sales rank down here. It's uh, 48,000. So you can see the tool is bringing over uh, the wrong data anyway. So in Patio Lawn and Garden, on Amazon, it's ranked 48,000. According to uh, over here, it's ranked 500,000, uh, which is just a little bit crazy. So then you go over here, the vendor offers 2188, which they're actually selling it for 1797. So it brought over the wrong information again. Like, how is this tool supposed to work if it brings over? the wrong bestseller rank, the wrong offer price, you know, uh, probably the wrong, let's see, let's look at these other sellers and see if those are right. Uh, 34.89, 34.91, yeah, so like, there you go again, 34.89 is the cheapest price and it goes to 43.08. Uh, 34.99 is uh, the lowest price here. So again, those prices are also wrong. Beeline Supply, uh, it's right here, 34.91. So common store didn't even come up. Oh, there he is, right there at a higher rate. Anyway, point is, prices are wrong. You go over here, and um, I thought this tool was pretty cool too. This section here, it can actually tell you like at what position you'll be profitable. Okay, so in this case, you would have to be the eighth position 
in order to reach a 5% minimum ROI. You can put your minimum ROI, desired ROI, max ROI, right? And then it tells you what position you need to be in in order to reach that, which I thought that was really cool. Um, but this is based on numbers that are being imported incorrectly. So how accurate is this really going to be? You know, and then being in eighth position, there is no way that you'll get this sale in the eighth position. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. And if you look over here, one, two, three, four, five, there's only five positions. Okay. So again, the data is, is just all over the place. It's all over the place. But anyway, at 34.89, you'd have to sell this uh, in order to get the number one position. And you can't be profitable unless you're way over here at 77.66 is what this is saying. <laughs> so position seven is maintainable at 68.21 to 77.66 estimated. Okay, and that'll bring you 5% minimum at $68.21. Nobody is paying $68.28 when the bottom price on this listing is $34.89 and these guys are selling it for $17.97. Nobody's buying a shovel for $68. It, it's just merely, it's totally impossible. It's, it's crazy. Anyway, you can hit finish and you can list this. It'll automatically list to your account. Supposedly it'll automatically do your price uh, recalculations. And, um, and there you have that. Okay. Uh, let's do another one just to, you know, show you some more craziness um i'll just go down here random let's do this one razorback okay so grab the url plug it in over here hit next it finds a variant and i mean i liked how fast this was when they first showed it to me i really did um but sometimes you know it can't fetch a variant and then you're just off to the next thing here you go a 23 and a half inch wood d handle square point shovel Okay. Uh, yeah, 23 and a half inch square point shovel, 2298. Okay. I don't know. They actually got the price right over here. Okay. So then you're like, all right, that's it. Cool. Let's find it on Amazon. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Home Depot has it. Amazon has it right here. looks like the same shovel, uh, model number. Doesn't, there's nothing to match it to, so you just kind of got to hope. But we can go right over to Amazon, see that it is sells one a month. And I mean, right now, maybe it's, it's summertime. Who needs a square shovel, right? Maybe, I don't know. Um, price has been all over the place with Keepa. This has the rank at 651000 which this is saying 651000 so at least that's right. And then uh, your vendor has it at 2298 which is correct. Okay, cool. So then you got to just do your research here. Sells one a month available from these sellers and you've got uh, Perovsky at 34.90. Okay. So then we come over here and you're like, all right, well, let's do this. Uh, the position you need to hold in order to be profitable. See the green area says profitable, uh, less than 5% ROI if you really want to play that game and then unprofitable. So you have to be again, position seven, in order to hit your minimum ROI requirements of 5%, minimum. So being in the seventh position, seller on Amazon, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're selling this shovel for $41.28. Again, nobody is going to pay double for a shovel that they can go get at Home Depot or any other place that has it for a reasonable price. Okay, so being way down here, you will not get a sale period. Okay. Let's do another one. Let's do, uh, let's do a Walmart just so I'm not being biased. Let's do, uh, toys. I'll find something in toys. Uh, here, eight to 11 is fine. Uh, okay. The ride-ons. How about that? Okay. So let's do whatever. This has two day shipping. And it's on rollback. Okay. Grab the link, go to arbitrage suite. Do that. Select the variant. All right. It's that wheelchair power wheels thing. Okay. $199. Yep. It's got that imported. No problem. And see Walmart, uh, they have the tool pretty much done for Walmart for the add a product. Doesn't work so well for Explorer, but, 
um, you know, you've got the data, it's pulling it, model number's missing, all that stuff is missing, but the picture's the same. It's a 12 volt battery powered ride on blue thingy, right? $199. Uh, let's see. $130. let us let us pull it up. Maybe this brings the right data. Three customer reviews, eight estimated sales a month. And the lowest guy, this one might actually be profitable for those of you that are looking to make some money. Okay, so uh, 237.50 is the lowest. So if you uh, just do your calculator thing, again, uh, 237.50 times 0.85, 201.87 minus uh, 199. You make a dollar 88 on a 200 dollars charge. So if you're okay with that, then there you go. You're fine. Okay. Um, oh shoot. Let's do uh, let's do a Wayfair. They say that Wayfair works. Uh, let's go to kitchen frying pans. Okay. There you go. Grab the link. Plug it in over here. There's usually some waiting that happens, which whatever, you know, waiting. When you have automation and a VA, I mean, it, you can get a lot of stuff done, but it's got to return proper data, which has been the problem that I've had with this tool for so long. I believe, if I remember right, it was so long ago. The add a product function and all this was uh, one price, the lower price. Then you pay the $3,000 to have the full automation, which is here. So um, I believe when you're adding the products, doing this manual stuff, I don't think you get the automatic um, ordering. You just get the uh, price tracking and management for the inventory. So you're paying a lower price, plus uh, they're charging you monthly for how many listings they're tracking too. So it's not just a one-time fee that you're paying these guys, uh, you're paying them quite a bit of money. All right, so I put that new URL in for Wayfair and it brought this up again. So don't know how that happened. Yeah, so there you go, broken again. Look, Wayfair tool brings up the power wheels. Okay, so there's there's something that uh, has some non-functioning crap. Let's try another one. Cuz they say Wayfair is one of their uh one of their suppliers that they can use. Let's try it again. Anyway, I mean, I, I think at this point you guys can imagine my frustration with a tool that I spent $3,000 on and I spend a lot of uh, time waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So, uh, I mean, let's try, uh, let's try Target. They claim Target works. Let's do, uh, let's see, categories. How about shoes? Uh, boots. There you go. Grab the link. Yeah, see, I brought up the power wheel thing again. Yep, this tool works perfectly. I'm an idiot, and the tool works perfectly. Okay, here we go. So, men's Joey Casual. Chuck a boot, good fellow, tan shoes. Size eight is selected here. So there's a 10, 12, seven, eight. Okay, so there it is. All right, cool. Uh, 39.99 is, yep, that's the price they're asking. Okay, so we'll hit next. And I mean, I get it, like in this particular scenario with add a product, you are grabbing a link from somewhere else and putting it into Arbitrage Suite. So you can't determine whether or not it's going to be profitable unless you run it through all of these sections, which is just uh, super time consuming. But So here you go. 
I uh, brought back, so Target is this one, right, with the black ring on the back. Clearly, that's not the right product. Um, it says it brought, it has uh, multiple ASINs, so you can actually do a pull down here. See, that's the size 11, 11 and a half, Timberlands, Metro Charm, and then Garden, Golden Fox. So none of these match. You know, if you select that, wrong shoe, select that, wrong shoe. So, I mean, how frustrating would you be, would you get if, if this is always happening, right? It just, it can't, it can't bring you the right products. Let's try home and uh, furniture, um, armoires. Uh, just a cheap one like this. Yeah. URL. Forty nine ninety nine. That's what it says. Yeah. Okay. Let's go over here. All right. Found it. Uh, double rod metal freestanding closet with cover gray. All right. That's good enough. Uh, so then you'd hit next over here. And okay, this one claims that you can be first and maintain your desired ROA at 17%. So, there you go. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's review the product here. Open it up in Amazon. So, again, here we are. Uh, I covered this a lot in the, in the video earlier. Uh, this is a brand new listing. No reviews. And, uh, Ace Inspector has no estimated sales per month. Um, yes, the seller is selling it for $82, which is quite a big uh, hike. Um, but, I mean, you can see in Keepa, it's been up to $110, $114. And people have run out of stock and brought it back and run out of stock and brought it back. But no reviews, uh, no bestseller rank, no idea when this will ever sell again. Um, you know, no clue. And then you can see here, just uh, two days, four days ago, somebody had this at 64 69 and then somebody came in and jumped it at 82 17 which, I mean, it's fine if somebody stumbles across this and they're like, oh, yeah, okay, that thing's worth 100 bucks to me, they might buy it. Okay, not saying that this stuff won't sell. I'm just saying that you can't estimate any amount of sales with any kind of tools that a normal good dropshipper uses for their business. You know, how am I supposed to make a decision, especially when these guys, these arbitrage suite guys are charging you uh, per listing to have in their software, to be tracking the inventory, tracking the price, and doing your price changes and possibly fulfilling your orders they're charging you uh, for products that you can't estimate would even generate any money in who knows how long this might sell in a day it might sell in two days it might sell in 10 days it might sell in 10 months it might not sell for two years and then you're paying them a monthly fee to have this item in their tracking system because all they're pointing you to are items that have no estimated sales and have no reviews and no bestseller rank it's almost every product that you find. You know, let's do another one in another category. Let's do uh, sports and outdoors, exercise and fitness, exercise bikes. Here you go. Arbitron Suite URL. This will be the last one, and then I think you guys get my point. And I've all around made my case that uh, this tool just isn't working properly. I've, I've given plenty of examples. And uh, so $126.99 from Target. Okay, at least it pulls that right. So then you go to Next. It's supposed to find it on Amazon. Okay, looks like it found it on Amazon. NS908R. Okay, so we know this actually compares. All right, 186 is Sports and Outdoors, 126.99 from the vendor. You hit Next. You need to be in position eight to be profitable, or if you're willing to accept less than 5% ROI, you can be in position seven. Okay, so again, you know, if we go up here and we open the Amazon listing, let's point out some things. Okay, this has 20 customer reviews, sells 13 times a month. Okay, so at least we have an estimated sales, right? Uh, the VSR is... 150,000 in sports and outdoors. Okay, so this secondary one doesn't really matter because it's it's only based under exercise bikes. Okay, there's only so many exercise bikes on Amazon. Uh, the bestseller rank to determine how many sales a month you're going to get is the number is the pop, the top one in the primary category, sports and outdoors. Okay, so 150,000, not horrible in sports and outdoors. 13 sales a month, definitely 
not bad okay but look at this so see all buying options all right now this thing is telling you that you need to be in position seven right eight okay so position eight in order to reach your minimum roi okay minimum roi okay i'm sorry at 15.41 percent roi you need to be offering this at 194.98 okay so look how many sellers there are before you get to 194 dollars one two three four five six seven other sellers before it'll even get down here there is no freaking way ever that you will get the buy box on this ever okay it will never sell even though it sells 13 times a month you will never sell it for the profit that you need to make in order to have a sustainable drop shipping business now i agree there will be arguments that well you, you can't list everything that you find on target.com or any other site i totally get that you're gonna have to have vas or yourself do all the research and go through this process of uploading and making your buying your listing decisions and everything through here and the tool does some cool things it pulls your variance over and review the product make sure it's the right thing calculate your profits and does all that but have we really found anything that could you know put you in the first second or third place that was a viable listing i think the one that we found that you could be in first place uh would never sell or we, we can't estimate any sales, right? Because it was a brand new listing and no BSR. So maybe, I mean, I don't really want to base a $3,000 purchase for software on a maybe. There's no guarantees. You, there, you can't estimate sales, all right? Um, so that's what I've got. I mean, this function seems to work a little bit better between Target and Walmart, uh, as you saw on Wayfair and uh, whatever that other site was. I can't remember now. Um, it, it didn't pull any data and it was pulling the wrong data so again you know they, they're boasting that they've got connections with all these other sites but the other sites don't work and you can't drop ship from target unless they actually really do have that ip uh, rotator you know i don't know i haven't been able to successfully process anything because i haven't been able to find anything to list and i've been at this for six months and i even put my vas on it so i don't know you guys can make your own decisions but now I've covered both ways uh, to list and to find products using this tool. And I've shown you the downfalls. So the decision is ultimately up to, up to you. This is the, uh, the end result of what I've found with this tool. And I'm out $3,000 because I didn't file a chargeback before five days ago. So I'm a little frustrated, but it's my fault. I accept that. I just wish that... Uh, you know people wouldn't be taking advantage of people because you know for me three thousand dollars yeah slap my hand shame on me for somebody who's getting into this industry to invest three thousand dollars into this tool and all they had in their savings was five thousand dollars to start a business that's a big freaking hit it'll probably put them out of business and they'll have to go back to work or just focus on a job you know what i mean so my point is when you take this kind of money from people you should have a tool that actually functions instead of uh, it's in beta test or we're working on it or yeah I know there's nine suppliers on the the site but only two of them kind of work you know uh, fix it get it finished already and uh, if you have an unsatisfied customer refund them so that's what I got all right so with that uh, my review of arbitrage suite take it as you wish take it or leave it um, I would personally recommend that you just save your money and focus on something else um, stay with drop shipping obviously you can make money with that just get a different tool this one uh, doesn't work and uh, I've shown you why okay so that's my honest review and I hope you have a great day thanks bye